Okay, more fun for me. And by fun, I mean pain, of course. If it will work properly. Yes, six and nine in one. Yeah, I can think of it. Okay, the control wasn't working then. Oh, bloody hell. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I'm recording this live on like the other one. Uh, just so you can... Because I don't plan on playing these for any longer than a minute. So this is Shark. This is uh, a complete rip-off of... I can't remember what it was called. It was that game on the Intellivision. Um, shark Shark, I think it was called. Yeah, creative title. Um, yeah, it's basically just that with better graphics and really annoying music. In fact, I've covered a lot of these games in a previous video on the Dream Gear 75 and 1. Uh, you probably won't want to see the video on that because it boring as hell. But if you really want to, you can look up with that. So this is Diamond. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> for a second there I thought there was no music. Uh, but no, it starts after you press the stop button for some reason. That's kind of weird. And yes. And uh, yeah, as you can see this is just a really awful Arkanoid clone. The reason that it's awful is because the physics are just rubbish. Like you see, like you just see it passing like through the blocks and just destroy most of them. And then it would like speed up and slow down at just seemingly random times. And yeah, there's not much more to say about it. Yeah, I am going through these games really quickly because I can't stand them long enough to play. Well, I say I can't stand them long enough. I just can't stand to play for this whole thing for like any longer than you know, half an hour. So this is basically a really poor man's battle city. I can't remember the name. Is it Pulveration? Some, some nonsense word that they made up, no doubt. Okay, so that destroys all the enemies and I'm bored. Octopus. Uh, oh no, is it supposed to be a Little Mermaid? I can't really tell. Because, well, actually no. I was going to say the graphics are awful, but yeah, they are more detailed than you would get on an actual NES game. But they still don't look that great. Because you'll find that some of these games, they they run on some sort of advanced system. Where, you know, they'll run, like... They have like more advanced graphics, and the control is getting really screwed up. Oh no, I, I think it's just to do with the D-pad, but uh, yeah, it's boring. Uh, fighter, yeah, great. Uh, I mean, uh, what, what? So this is basically okay. That's weird. I press the I press the A button, or is it the B button? I don't really know. The buttons aren't labelled on this uh, controller, if I could put in part one. But yeah, basically. Ooh, it's like the hyperspace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just walk around the screen randomly, except you don't blow up after a while like you do in Asteroids. Obviously, Asteroids is like several billion times better than this game will ever be, because it's just really boring. It's like that. It's like those games on the Action 52, pretty much, with better graphics, basically. But, like, why is this thing behind me? If I pause the game. Like, why is that supposed to be? Is it, is it like a bus or something? Because I have no idea as to what else that could possibly be. Anyway, go back to the menu for Awful Russian. I do get the film that's probably going to be a very accurate name. In fact, it's a very familiar name because I'm pretty sure I've played this on other units, but I can't. I don't remember. And, okay, the D-pad has stopped working. Because the, uh, actually, no. It says the D-pad has stopped working. I think it's just because of where I'm holding the controller. Because I've got the, because now I've got the system on my desk, and it's like, you know, it's like if the de if the controller goes below the desk, it won't respond. Like they won't be able to connect to the controller because of infrared. And yes, not like you care about that, but the game just sucks. It's, it's basically just a poor man's road fighter. Bubbles, which of course is not going to be anywhere. Well, it's not going to be bubble bubble or anything like that. No, instead it's a poor man's Tetris. Um, as you can see, better graphics to an extent, but yeah, the physics are nowhere near as good. In fact, the, I've seen a couple of versions. There's one which is basically the same thing, with, except the graphics aren't as good, and there's another one where it's like that, except better music. Unfortunately, we don't get the music from that one, so instead we get this just awful. Look. We just get this like five second tune playing throughout the whole thing, and I'm bored. It, it's a it's playable, but uh. You would rather just be playing a real Tetris game. Little Indian. Yes, starring some overweight kid who's apparently an Indian. Now, I'm actually... Now, this game is actually quite familiar to me. In fact, 
I'm going to be showing why in the next part. But, um, yeah, basically, this is a clone of an Intellivision game called Buzz Bombers. Except, in this game, you get an infinite supply of arrows. Um, and the graphics are better. You know, but, you know, it's like you're playing as... You're supposed to be playing as, like, an Indian bloke. At least, according to the total screen, you are anyway. But, you know, for all I know, I could just be playing as some crazy bloke who... Or you just like snapped and decided to kill birds with, and you didn't bother to get dressed properly for some reason. Because I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't think Indians wore like trousers. I'm just gonna say that right now. But uh, whatever. Twink cards are oh, great. Apparently made in 2002, and uh, isn't that fun take from Bubble Bubble 2 on the fan com? Like, the, like where it says hi. Yeah, definitely, because it definitely looks like it. But yeah, this is this is basically just you know match up the cards. That's literally, that's literally all this game is. Match up the cards, and Pikachu runs past every time you get one right. Or actually no, it just seems to run past whenever he feels like it actually. And yeah, and we see Pikachu run across again maybe. Yep. Actually, actually no, is, it, is that Pikachu? I can't really tell. It looks like him. At least it looked like it at first, but uh, now I think it's supposed to be some sort of boat or something. But I know there's another version where like that Pikachu run across the screen, but whatever. I'm going to try to be playing Pokemon. Uh, Dejectil. Great. <laughs> why, why is it... I can't pronounce it right. What is a Dejectil anyway? Well, according to this game, it's basically a very poor man's version of Bomb Man. And, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Brilliant. So, I don't know, am I supposed to be like a soldier or something? I have no idea. It, it doesn't really make any sense, you know. It's a poor man's bomb man. I think that's all that really matters. And here is the power up. Uh, no! You must run. Now, screw it. Aha! I took them out. See, this game is... It's playable, but yeah. I would rather be playing a real bomb man game. Well, apart from maybe Act Zero, but whatever. Greedy! Isn't that a great name? And yes, as you can probably guess on that total screen, this is basically Snake. And not very good version. It's, well, it's playable, but the graphics are no better than they are on the mobile phone versions. Even like the really old ones that you get on like the old Nokias. And, um, cause I remember having like an old Nokia phone which had this game on it back in like. I don't know, 2004 or something like that. And, yeah. I think that was more fun. Because at least I got to, like, carry it around with me. And it didn't have really annoying music. A sort. Or... Uh, what, I mean, seriously, what kind of name is that? A sort? I mean, seriously. With some random kid. Yes. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, just go around some garden. Cut down stumps. That seems kind of weird though, like you couldn't down stumps. And. Oh, okay. Apparently that was good. Brilliant. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to complete one more level of this and then I'll be done, I think. Because, no, I don't want to cut through that. And, yeah, that's enough of that. It's rubbish. Polk. Or Plock. Sadly not. Instead we get a... Uh, oh, is it Pinball maybe? Uh, uh, select. Oh, okay. Apparently this has a two-player mode. But I'm not going to play two-player because I can't find anyone sound to play this for me. <laughs> oh wow, this literally... I swear this looks just like an Intellivision game. Uh, how do I go? Oh, okay. Hold the down button eventually it goes. And... Okay. I swear this really just highlights the whole sort of flip down B button problem where... I can press the button on the left, it hits the from the right. I will say, this is probably the best game so far, simply because it sort of plays like a pinball game, but it's still not that great. I mean, if you're liking television pinball, this might be alright, I suppose. But, you know, you know, compared to, like, true pinball or something, you know, I'd which I would just play that. And, yeah. It is the best game so far, though, which isn't saying a whole lot. Lawn Mower. You know this was going to be a real winner with a name like Lawnmower. I mean, seriously. Okay, so 
Because I'm apparently I'm mowed over an apple. Oh no. Is it supposed to be like, uh, oh, we're better than apple? <laughs> Who knows? Um, well, let's face it, you can hardly be worse. <laughs> but that's just my fanboyish tense is kicking in there. Because, uh, I'd still rather play this and use a MacBook. Okay, maybe not. Honestly, I, I think even those would be better. But yeah, it's a game where you mow the lawn and screw that. Undersea base. Let's see what this is. Undersea base! Yeah, oh, I've seen this before. In fact, I think this was called Bubbles on another system. And uh, yeah, this kind of fits in the whole bubble bubble ethos, I suppose, where you trap things in a bubble. Except, of course, that game was infinitely better because it wasn't a boring piece of rubbish. And yes, there's not much else to say, really. You just trap things in bubbles, and this is incredibly easy. And yeah, that's enough of that. Now we have Fish Jumi. I assume that's supposed to say Fish Journey, but they kind of like merge the R and the N together for some reason. And oh, what well, do you know? It's the same thing as that other driving game from earlier, except now I'm a fish for some reason. No, I. it, it makes no sense. It makes just as much sense to me as it does to you, honestly. Unless you see some sense in this game, in which case. What drugs have you been taking? <sighs> Next game is Sea Maid. Which Sea Maid? Ooh. Uh, another game in 2002, apparently. Stage 1. Let's see what this is like. Okay, so. Oh, am I supposed to be a mermaid? I don't really know what else it's supposed to be. Well, the music is taken from some old Famicom game called. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Shoo Shoo Shoo. Susu, Susu Kiri, Keddy, or something, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, the soundtrack is by far the best thing about this game. It sounds a lot better than the music you hear in the other games. <laughs> Which isn't really saying much, but it's it's actually quite decent, to be fair. The gameplay is boring as hell, though. I mean, like, like I fly into this fish and nothing happens. And, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the reset button got stuck for a second. A hundred meter dush. I assume they're supposed to say dash. And on these on aren't the sprites taken from caveman games on the NES? I think they are. Okay, oh <laughs> sorry, I was holding the controller in the wrong place so it wasn't picking up. Oh well, I can just use the turbo button to win this game anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna qualify. Yay, I qualified. And I don't understand like why it's set in like this whole caveman thing. But then, like I said, you know, it, it's, I suppose they were just trying to rip off caveman games, so whatever. But it just resets the same event over and over again, and it's just track and field with different graphics. Phantom Archer! I bet that total screen is the best thing about this game, quite frankly. So, what am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, okay, you're supposed to be attacking those demons, or whatever they're supposed to be. Yeah, this is so fun! In fact, this is so fun, I think I might just quit this game almost immediately. In fact, no, actually no. I'm going to sit through this first level and then I'm just going to quit because the game isn't really worth anything more than that. In fact, it's worth less than that, to be honest. But, yay, I won. And now I get to move to the right. Stage 2. Great. And it's exactly the same thing. Screw that. Knocking. Knocking what? Knocking. Oh yeah, this is that game. Yeah, it's whack a mole, and there's not much to say. Apparently, it's night time, and there's stuff. The, the, there's clouds of like several different colours, and some other stuff. And yeah, this is rubbish. But hey, we can go to the next page to play Transmission. Yes, Transmission. Brilliant. Uh, let's see what this is like. So it's the I'm a dot. And I died, I think. I, yeah, screw that. <laughs> That's just rubbish. Disc is put. Okay, more of this caveman games nonsense. Let's try this. Although it's funny, I don't remember Discus from Track and Field, so they must have made this one on the spot. So, let's see. Do I qualify? Apparently not. No. 
<laughs> and we get some really out of tune thing. See, I think they just made up these graphics to, in a vain attempt to distance it from track and field, but it still looks like track and field. And yeah, I'm just using the turbo button here because why not? Uh, that was awful. You know what? Nah, I'm not going to play that anymore. It's playable, but screw it. The Farmer. Yes, a Farmer... He's got a whip. He's going to whip sheep. And, okay, I'm pressing the buttons and... Okay, I, I died. I pressed the buttons. He didn't seem to do anything. So, what am I supposed to do? Okay, these are these wolves. Am I supposed to hit the sheep? Okay. I think I am. This really makes no sense, but whatever. Uh, well, the sheep camp just says 18. I'm, supposedly I'm whipping them, but it doesn't seem to do anything other than increase my score. Yeah. And apparently I paused. Oh no, maybe it's a, something in German, who knows. Motorboot. See what this is. I mean, 2004. Brilliant. And it's the same thing as those other games. Screw that. I'm going to play something better, like Resistant. Always Resistant. Oh, this looks just like the previous one. Like the top of the screen looks exactly the same. But the game itself is different, at least. It's some... I don't know, is it supposed to be like Galaga? Like the, the world's worst Galaga clone, basically. And yeah, that's just rubbish. Uh, well, pretty much all of them are, to be honest. Dinosaur. Small dinosaur. Brilliant. There's another game I remember playing because, well, I just remember it because of how bad it was, to be honest. Yep, yeah, collect stuff. It's like Kaboom for retards, pretty much. Well, actually, no, I think retards would be disgusted to play that because it's just too easy even for them. Moto Rushing. If it's going to be the same things as other games, I'm quitting. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> I've seen that too many times already. 110 meter hurdles. Ooh, okay, they don't have the caveman grave. They don't have the caveman game graphics this time. <laughs> That's hilarious. You just press that. And, but yeah, it's just another track and field event. So screw it. I'm not going to bother. Robot. What is this? Robot. Oh, so you just said that resistant game I was just playing. Except even worse. Well, I mean, the graphics are better, but it plays worse. High jump. Okay, so this is another track and field event. Evidently. Okay, I'm holding down the mash. I'm, okay, I'm holding down. That's weird. I was holding down the buttons and they didn't seem to be working properly. Let's try this again, just to make sure the controllers. Just to make sure the batteries aren't on the way out. No, I think they are. Nah. <laughs> okay, let's try another game, just to make sure the controllers aren't. Are, are at least working to an extent, and it's not just the game or anything. Okay, this is weird, like, I swear the controls are just, I'm not sure, it's probably the batteries, or, oh no, maybe it's because I'm not holding the controller in the right in the right place, but it's been working so far. And, yeah, he just froze when he get, he gets to a set point, I'm not even, like, pressing the button. So, I'm only supposed to press up to throw it. Thin ice. Yes, thin ice. In fact, this game... Now, at first you might think it's a rip-off of Kicks, and you'd be inclined to do so. But in fact, it's a rip-off of a rip-off of Kicks. <laughs> if that makes any sense. This is actually a rip-off of a game called, well, Thin Ice. They didn't even bother changing the title. It's just that. I think they changed the graphics a little bit. And yeah, you have this git trying to raise your loins, because he's a git. Yeah, uh, it's basically a kick's clone, only it's not as good. Long jump. See, I think the buttons are broken, because... I mean, like, you notice it just increases randomly. I'm not sure if it's just the game, or... Yeah. <laughs> In fact, no. Let's, just, let's try that other game. The uh, other one, just to make sure the controls... Just to make sure the control isn't broken. Let's have a go at the 100 meter douche. Or 100 meter dush, or 100 meter dash, whatever. See, he, like here the turbo buttons work properly. I mean, what the hell? It, it works properly there, and yet it doesn't work in all these other ones. Triple jump. Yes, yeah, triple jump. 
archery is just all actually now. I think I might quickly show this one because it's at least a little bit different to all the track games. And okay, head up. Oh, okay, it's set it by itself, fair enough. And okay, now I'm pressing the buttons and it's not working. Brilliant. Oh, okay, you press the up button. I thought you had to press A in the uh, original track and field. Oh well, it's it plays like track and field, I suppose. Magic place. Brilliant title screen. See what this is like. This is Okay, so I'm playing as a blob, trying to avoid other blobs while collecting stars, and this is rubbish. Uh, Grot Kid, what? Grot Kid, what kind of name is that? Okay, oh, I remember this. This is where you walk around and collect stuff. In fact, it's basically just the previous game, so screw it. Jumping Kid, Jump Kid! Yeah, I don't know why I've tended to do that a lot for some reason. But yeah, I'm, apparently I'm playing as, oh no, is it supposed to be Ninja Jajamaru's retarded cousin or something? Yeah, <laughs> this is brilliant. It's it's so brilliant, I'm just going to press the reset button right now. Rifle range, what is this? Oh, this is just, yeah, the rifle range, the skeet shooting event from track and field. Well, it's a lot easier from what I've noticed. First off, that's the same thing pretty much. Just press the D-pad. They all come from the left, though. I'm sure they came from the right in the original. But uh, yeah, it's the same thing pretty much. It's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, memory test, which is yeah, it's just another matching game. Match up the cards. I don't care. Santa Claus. Well, it is nearly Christmas. But whatever. So this is just that dinosaur game again, except I'm now catching presents from Santa, which I suppose makes slightly more sense, although that isn't really saying much, because it still doesn't make sense. It's like, well, why is this stuff I'm collecting? Let's collect the lightning bolt. <laughs> uh, that's the most fun I've had from these games so far, other than possibly the pinball one, but even then. Puzzle. See what this is. Oh, this is. <laughs> it's 15 puzzle. Yes, match up the things. Yeah, well, I think you know how those things work. I'm not... Actually, no, I want to see. It's got the whole Windows OS thing. Does it. See if. Does it. Ooh, what is this? Low or high? What does this do? What happens if I select high? Ooh! Now we're playing with power. Now we're playing with 64 of them. Yeah. <laughs> So it's an innovation you're gonna see out of these games. Let's press the exit button. Oh, I'm just reset. That's a bit lame. Oh well, let's have a look at RB chess. What does RB stand for? I oh, know Rebecca Black maybe. If anyone still remembers who her is. Okay. Pressing the button. Oh, okay, press the B button. And then you press the A button. So it's basically the world's slowest reverse game. Yep, yeah, next. Star Attack or Star Attack, whatever. <laughs> Great total screen. And, oh, is it, is it like Asteroids? Or, actually, no. I'm pretty sure this is another Intellivision ripoff, but, it, but the Intellivision ripoff is basically a poor man's Asteroids. And, yeah. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, depth Bomb. Great. Okay. So, what we have here is basically. Yeah, it's basically Battleship. If you've played that. In fact, yeah, it is literally just Battleship. So, okay, I can attack. Uh, what's the select button? I want to pick the the Wheel of Fortune. Or whatever that stands for. Birds, Angle. But well, the Angle has the most of them. And we get this little view of it hitting the ship. Way. Well... To be honest, this is probably the best game because it's playable. Like it, like it. At least it plays like Battleship, at least. And it has this nice little screen thing. So, yeah, this is by far the best game so far. And ice hockey. Yeah, so it could be like the Nintendo one, is it? No, instead we get a. I'm pretty sure this is the Intellivision one. Yeah, slap shot. They didn't even change the title. Slap shot, Super Pro Hockey. In fact. 
It doesn't even have the credits, because I'm pretty sure there were credits in the original. It's, okay, so it comes with a blank screen. Ah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, they literally have like the credits from the original game. No, they didn't even they didn't even like give enough of a toss to actually take out the credits for this game. So they're actually giving credit to the developers, like the people who made the original. I'm gonna go with amateur because I'm rubbish at this game, and presuming I'm the team in red because I'm on you know because they're on the left. Yeah, I am on the left. And okay, how do I shoot? Oh no! It, ba it I'm pretty sure these sound effects. In fact, all the sound effects and all that are basically taken from um, what was that game? Antarctic Adventure. Okay, now I can only play as the bloke I'm highlighted as, which is kind of lame, but whatever. I'm sure the original played like this. Well, to be fair, this one is all right. It's all right if you haven't got any of ice hockey games to play. Warrior. Where's Warrior? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a classic, isn't it? Oh, I know what this is. This is a Night Stalker on the Intellivision. Except Night Stalker was a lot better. Okay, that's weird. You sort of turn around. It's kind of a weird feature and kind of pointless. Aha! I win! Okay. Yeah, eventually you run out of bullets and you have to collect another power up thing. Are these power ups? No, they just. No. No, they, apparently they kill you eventually. They look like lollipops, but apparently they're not. Five days. It's like seven days. Yeah. Shut them with my toes on Tuesday. Shut them some more on a Wednesday. Or something stupid like that. Yeah, I got bored of that before they even came down to my level. Aimless. Brilliant. Uh, graphics taken straight out of that Attack Animal Gakuin game. Or Gakuin, how you pronounce it. And, yeah, this is just rubbish. Shot port. Great, more vents. Ooh. I like how... Now this one's sort of like an amalgamation of, um... You know, the... the, the but yeah, it's like an amalgamation of the uh, Caveman games ones and uh, the other ones. And let's throw! Yeah, that was rubbish. <laughs> yeah, like all of these games, really. Anglerfish. What is Anglerfish? Yeah. And, okay, so this is a maze game where you can't actually see most of the maze. And, okay. Trolls are not very... Not, they're not working very well. Like, I'm having to constantly press the up button to go up. Which makes no sense. And, yeah, I don't care for that. Shrew Mouse. What's Shrew Mouse? Okay, well, we have some weird shrew mouse. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's select game number five, because why not? We have one round of the city streets. Seriously, I have to make that reference. And, oh, I did. I'm died. Yay. Yeah, this is a snafu. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the music from the original, which is a bit lame. So next game is Vectron. Again, they didn't even bother changing the title because this is uh, an <laughs> a based off an television game called Vectron. But uh, I can't figure out how to play this game. It never really seemed to make any sense to me. But uh, eventually, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm not a fan of the original, so this version is just going to be even worse. Yeah, it never really made any sense. I mean, like, it's playable, but it just doesn't make any sense. Ramming. Brilliant. Well, decent looking total screen, but, uh, no doubt the game's gonna be rubbish. So, what have we got here? We have a ship against two other ships, and the controls are rubbish. Like, after. It's like Asteroids controls, only not very good. Where, like, you have to keep mashing the right button to turn right and left to turn left. And presumably you have to like, you have to like, get these things into the white holes or whatever they are. They're probably supposed, to, they kind of look like galaxies, but it makes a little sense for them to be galaxies given how big the ships are in comparison. 
but whatever. The game sucks. Uh, what's the next one? Warfront. With a, uh, I think the graphics are taken from a battle tank, I think, on the NES, which was not like the other ones, but whatever. Uh, so okay. So this is a poor man's battle tank, essentially. You know, some you know, you sort of fight tanks. Except you can't move, which kind of sucks. I don't think you can anyway. You can't even like move your cursor diagonally, which is kind of stupid. And let's shoot this thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can collect a power up. Yay. Brilliant. That was worth a whole ten seconds of my amusement. Uh, hit mouse. Oh. The music sounds kind of weird. Oh well, let's play this. Yeah, whack moles with a shovel, even though it's called Hit Mouse. There aren't actually any mice in this game. <laughs> What's that? Some corn? Corn living in a hole. That makes a whole lot of sense. Well, whatever. That's uh, enough of that. Uh, what's the next one? Mouse Snare. Ooh. So we got Jerry and. Oh no, is that supposed to be Tom? Or just some generic cat? They might as well have ripped off Tom. I mean, Jerry's in the game. Okay, and it pressed the A button by itself. Brilliant. One. One. Yay! So it's basically Minesweeper with ugly graphics, pretty much. So that's a mine. That's a mine. That's a mine. Is this a mine? Okay, apparently they're cats. So the cats are mines, I think. Except I could still keep going, which doesn't make any sense. Oh, I can reset and what happens if I click on mouse? Does it come up with a menu? Or could it be the other one? No. And presumably this doesn't do anything. Oh, it goes back to this. So, can I quit of that? Okay, I press the B button, it just does this constantly. So much fun I've got here of this game. I mean it's playable, but yeah. Uh, fishing. Which is funny, because we already had another fishing game earlier. But whatever. It's a fishing game. Brilliant. So let's see. Uh, let's see, there's a mermaid. Brilliant. <laughs> and there's. A f oh no, is it a fish or is it some vegetables? I can't really tell because the graphics aren't very good. Yep, this is so fun, isn't it? And yeah, that's uh, enough of that. That's just. <laughs> it's even worse than the other fishing game. That's saying something. Enchanter! Storing the Black Mage from Final Fantasy, I think. At least I think it is. Or maybe it's just some... <laughs> yeah, it is a Black Mage as well. <laughs> Except he like decided to dress up in red for some reason. So yeah, this is just like that other game. Except there's more heads. Brilliant. They're really beating a dead horse there. And, uh, girl. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Yes. Like we couldn't have, uh, yeah. Three, two, one, and then we may be able to go. So this kind of looks like, what's the game, Choo Choo Rocket? Yeah, so we could go right. Uh, do I want to turn? No. Do I want to go left? Apparently so. And, pff, okay, apparently I lost, I think. Yes, yeah, try us again. Well, I don't get this. Like, I has blue hair on the title screen, and yet in, in the actual game. Okay, that's weird. Oh, oh, okay. If you press A, the next one like changes decision or something. I don't understand that. So it's Choo Choo Rocket, except it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, <laughs> this is so fun. I'm just gonna like quit the game, and uh, yeah. Last page, falling blocks, brilliant, and, oh, okay, this one actually has a two-player option, and, okay, I think the game glitched there for a second, and, okay, so it's another Tetris ripoff, except it has all, like, weird pieces that don't fit in Tetris, so it's Tetris, except it's not very good, well, the music's stolen, but, yeah, that's the only thing it has going for it. Deformable. Let's see what deformable is. 
So this is basically a game where you drop the screen. Well, it's a little bit different to the other one, so I'm not going to quit it immediately. But it's still rubbish. Uh, lightning. Let's see what lightning is. And okay, and oh, okay. This is it's the same thing as the other one. Brilliant. Fish story. Brilliant. And yep, this is just that shock shock clone again. Wheeled gunman, which apparently has nothing to do for wild gunman. Live wound. Oh, this is just it's just that little Indian game again, except the graphics aren't quite as good. Brilliant. Yep, they're just repeating the games. Well, I, I say repeating, they they're just the same as other games. Final Blood. Brilliant. Kind of looks like it should be like Rambo or something, except of course it isn't. So yeah, this is just that Warfront game again, except except it's even worse. It has annoying music and therefore makes it worse. And yeah, uh, Surf... I suppose, I assume it's supposed to say Surfer. Yeah, Surf... Uh, is that supposed to be like an E? Because it looks like a low case R because like a bit of it's missing. Okay, Speed. I want to go full speed. Let's go, let's go Speed 11. Okay, there's two courses. Skiers. Yeah, you have six people signed to play this at once. Yeah. yeah. This is so fun. It's just a ski game, except horrible. Actually, it's a rip-off from a television game, but it's still not very good. Yeah, and I crash into some seaweed, I think. Oh no, makes no sense. Like, I think this was originally a skiing game where, like, yes, it makes a little bit more sense. But, uh, yeah, even so. <laughs> Final Man. Which is Final Man. Yeah, it's the same thing. In fact, yeah, I think this has the same name as that other game. If I can find it. Uh, no, nah, I can't be up. I can't be bothered. Freestyle, which is a swimming game, it's like track and field, only with really awful music. Great. Well, I think that will be that. And on that note, I think I'll see you in the final part, where I test some compatibility and stuff. Yes. See you then.